So today we're going to be going... <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting my mini series which I'm oddly impressed with. And maybe I'll do this next year so we can like see how much things change. You have to excuse the state of me. I am literally ready for bed. <laughs> but you know me i love doing this so i just wanted to film for you guys so today we're going to be going through my highlighters i have got clean arms ready for the swatching and we're going to fill up my new drawers that you saw me kind of unbox the other week yeah sure. okay okay i'm just gonna crack on okay so here's my drawers now i am one divider still missing because they they haven't shipped well when this has been filmed it hasn't been shipped i've got all my highlighters and we are gonna fill up these three spaces now if you're thinking it's weird that i've got some missing that's because i don't actually have enough products to fill every gap yet so i've took out every other one so we've got a good chunky space for each highlighter and then when i have too much i can then put them in so it'll kind of look full and then i can add to it if that makes sense but what i'm going to do the first thing i'm going to put in is this mirror um i thought i'd add this into the very first thing this is my oh it's not the camera over this is my cinderella mirror and it's just beautiful and this is going to go bang smack in the middle like that so that basically oh, don't look at the mess Oh yes, I'm more than happy with that. Right, so we're going to dive straight in. I'm going to attempt, being the keyword, to put these in order. If you imagine there's a divider, I think I'm going to do bronzers, blushes, highlighters over three for the time being, and then we'll find something else for the end. And then obviously as my collection grows, great. The first thing I'm going to start with though is this. And this is my first highlighting palette that I've got. It's dirty now, look. Oh, it makes me sad. Um, I thought I'd do this one first. I'm doing every highlighter that I own. So we're going to swatch all six. So we're going to do it in order. So we've got Kitty Cat, Forever Young, Daydream, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and One for Three. I should have probably, oh hell yeah, I should have got some Oh yes, look at that bad boy, can you see that? My hands aren't very tanned so that one doesn't really work very well but we're just going to go for it. That one didn't really show, let's do it another one. Oh, here you can you see that, guys? How pretty is that? So this is obviously a limited edition palette that you can no longer get. And I've just scraped my nail through it. Oh, that is blinding. Like, I'm unsure on what the hell that really is deep down. Um, are we ready? Should we do my arm? Like, seriously, that is actually a spot, by the way. <laughs> yes, I've got a spot on my arm. How gorgeous is that? Like, that is just... Let me turn my light on. Excuse the creaking of the floor. Like, look at them. Seriously. They're, like, gorgeous, right? I know, I know. So that one is actually going away. We're just going to jump straight in. Okay, this, would you believe, I believe is a blush. It is the, is it Ciate? And it is called In Too Deep. But, right, so this is the blush. Now, I'm going to swatch this bad boy. Watch this. Okay, so it's very pinky. Look at that shimmer on it. This is not, I'm repeating, this is not a blush. Because if you take a dinky amount, just rub your finger in, and you pat it along, Look at how much that glistens. So I actually use that as a highlight. And it is beautiful. Um, go there, look. See? And then obviously when I get another one. In fact, no, we'll put it in the front. We'll put it in the front. Let's go for it. We'll put it in the front. The next one I have is my MAC Soft and Gentle. I love this one. It is amazing. Like, seriously, seriously amazing. Are we ready for the swatch? This is my favourite ever. That went onto a wet hand. <laughs> oh, it's just... Stu this kind of suits any skin type. Like, if I'm feeling really pale and I put this on, I just feel like a million dollars. I absolutely love it. So we're going to go with... I can always move these around after. So I'm going to go with the N3, I think, for highlighters. <laughs> I tried to do it in order so that eventually you'll have, like, face powders 
bronzers the way that I do my makeup and then obviously like blushes go before highlighters stuff like that because I'm weird okay so we have another matte how gorgeous is this this is one of the Christmas edition ones this is called happy go dazzling now okay I love the snowflake in this one it's just to die for I mean, look at how gold it is as well it's a very yellowy highlighter. Like, if you don't really like highlighters and you like gold, but you don't like real yellowy golds, that is definitely not the one for you. But this is limited edition, so it hits pretty hard, people, but we can't get it anyway. So that was soft and gentle, and that begins with a H. Yes, I have them in alphabetical order. I have them by brand, then by the title. Same as my lipstick collection. My lipstick collection's all in order. I'm not... I know. Then we have this beautiful Soap and Glory and it's called Shimmer Switch. It is very, very pink. I use this a lot for work, basically, just to get rid. Okay, so there it is. It doesn't look very highlightified on here. It kind of looks powdery. And then it still looks quite powdery, but if you rub it into the hand, you get... It's very, very slight glow. It's not the best highlighter, I'm not going to lie. But I'm a firm believer in using my makeup and I do use this for work. Now, I got this one in a birch box once and it was supposed to be a three beauty thing. You could use it as an eyeshadow, a highlighter, or I think it was a, br a bronzer or maybe a blush. But it's a beautiful, it's too shimmery for the lids. Like way too shimmery for the lids. Put that next to the soap and glory. But I find it's a little bit dark for a highlighter. You have to really, really finesse this bad boy into the skin to get it to look decent. But I love it nonetheless. And once again, firmly reusing everything. So that's what I do. I'm going to do all my Revolution Powder highlights right now. So the first ones, I'm going to go with these. These, these freaking, I love Revolution highlighters. I can't get enough of them. This one is called Ice Kiss. Clean fingers swatch look at that now this is very powdery i'm just gonna flick my finger this is very powdery are you ready but when you buff that down oh my god it's not the camera sorry look at that it's stunning and this is just you smudge it out and just oh 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 people I'm not gonna go all the way to the back just for simple reasons i'm just not gonna go all the way to the back then we have peach kiss i like this but you have to once again i feel like this one is a very um don't go mental it's a very peachy color and you do have to kind of like go again can you just see that let's get another go let's have it another go let's give everything a fair trial today second swatch going down look at that it is gorgeous i do like that one as you can see i've proper gone to town in that one that one's quite bad so that one is called peach kisses that will go after there now these are very small so they tend to be laying down but i can live with that i'm more than happy with that the next one that we have is called golden you ready for this bad boy oh hell yeah hell yeah the words are Jenna Marbles, heal yeah. Oh, I can't. Right, I'm going to get this one straight away. This is called Rose Gold. Okay, these are both, oh, <laughs> these are both cream formulas. Look at that. Now, this doesn't look very good, to be truthful. I've swatched that so wrong. Let me just tap it on. Okay, you cannot rub it in because it goes patchy, but look at them look at them you know a little bit on a beauty blender goes a long way they are freaking amazing the next two revolution highlights i've got are baked highlighters now this isn't one that i go for quite often this is called gold addict are we ready i need to clean my fingers because it's in every crevice i mean look at those can we see look at that so this is the gold addict this is the bronziest bronze i've ever come across okay is my hand dry my hand's sparkling <laughs> like you need like that was the lightest of touches that one does not go on very well with a packer brush it has to be with a fan brush and very very lightly this i feel like i need to move around my camera this is called rejuvenate this is my go-to revolution blush This is my fave. Looks quite yellowy there, but oh my god, it just blends out 
and looks flawless. I just, I absolutely am 150,000% obsessed with it. Yeah, yeah, obviously when I get the rest of the dividers in. So obviously next year I want to do these. You know, I might have way too many more highlighters. The next one I've got is this gorgeous, gorgeous hourglass. Now, I like hourglass products. Um, I can't say I overrate them. They're not as good as people make them out to be, I don't think. They're beautiful. The packaging is stunning. So this is what it looks like. This one is called... In Candy Set, I think. Something like that. Not sure. I've watched your names. You know me by now. But... When I say it is stunning, it is apps. It's like a very light. If you're looking for a bold highlight, this isn't the one for you. But you know, just to give that my floor is so creaky. Can you hear that? <laughs> you need to give yourself just that beautiful, beautiful extra little bit of something, something. Oh my god! So yeah, we're gonna go five back. I think we're gonna stick to the five mark on highlighters. The next two are also Revolution, and they are both liquid highlighters. So these, obviously, I'm just gonna dunk in. This has no bloody name. This is the only thing I hate about when you get things out of advent calendars. So this has no name whatsoever. Okay. It comes like a lip gloss form. But are you ready? So this is it to start off with. And then you blend it out. Obviously, get, I tend to use a beauty blender. How freaking gorgeous is that? And if that wasn't good enough for you let's talk about this so this is called liquid luster gold it's more on the bronzy rosy goldy side but okay this comes with a dropper now i love this idea by the way the dropper i love it look at that i'm just literally gonna put that back okay i'm gonna pad this out with my finger let me look at it it's just stunning it is absolutely stunning you want to go bling and bounce and oh highlight to hell you go nuts but just look at that it is so nice like i can't get over that okay so where was we revolution because this has no name it's just literally gonna go at the front and this one begins with an l so i love this drawer by the way i was so obsessed with it that's it this is all of my highlighters look at how beautiful they are all looking in there so at the moment i own i own 14 plus the six that i have in one compact so 20 different highlighters freaking love highlighters highlighters are the best things that anybody ever invented let me tell you but yeah i'd like to thank you for watching this video oh i'm loving this you're gonna see it full soon let me tell you i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching take care i'll see you in a few days with another video and if you haven't already please we'll put it here click this subscribe button just here click over here to check out one of my latest videos and click over here oh way too low to see a video that youtube has selected for you i'd like to thank you so much for watching take care i'll see you in a few days with another video and bye bye